Hey folks, I normally don't do this. I normally don't do installation videos on radio grips, but the grips for the Jumper T20 are a little bit different just because there's kind of an order of operations just so you can get the lines straight. So let's head over to the bench and I'll show you how to install your grips on your Jumper T20. All right, so your grips are gonna show up in a package, something sort of like this. Yeah, it's not fancy, but where's it gonna end up after this? In the trash, so this is cheap and I just don't really care. So go ahead and get into your into your bag. You're gonna find a uh, ISO prep pad, and you're gonna find your grips. Go ahead and just lay these out, uh, just so you can kind of see which pieces we're working with. Uh, this radio has five pieces: two sides, one back, two fronts. There may be some soot on your grips, either the front and the back, or front or the back. Don't worry about it. It'll all wipe off if it's on the front after a few uses. All right, first thing, go wash your dirty little mitts because you're gonna want all the grease and oils off of them as best you can. Uh, go through, brush your radio off, uh, rub it down with a, a, uh, a clean cloth, and then we're gonna take our isopropyl prep pad. If yours ruptured in the package, which sometimes happens, just clean it with alcohol. If, you, if you're flying drones or soldering, you probably got alcohol laying around. Uh, make sure you clean up all the major touch points which we're going to be working on today. Try not to uh, touch these again after you have cleaned them with your fingers. Although your fingers are clean, so it shouldn't make too much of a difference, but we're trying to give this the best chance as possible. So once that's done, throw that thing away, let the radio dry off. All right, now that the uh, nice purple alcohol has flashed off let's start on the back we'll do the uh do the easy part first just kind of warm ourselves up you're going to want your grips and you're going to want a uh, a heat gun or a hair dryer or something like that uh, that will a it'll help make the tape a little more malleable and it'll also help set the adhesive so what i like to do especially if you have like the, the glittery types of grips uh, peel them not over top of the radio because you know you'll get glurpees and it kind of sheds and we're just gonna kind of drop this in place, just kind of close to where you think it might go. Uh, we may need to pick it up and move it around to readjust it. And over about there. I'm gonna try following the body lines of the radio. And right about there looks good. So go ahead, press it down, and uh, go and hit it with some hot air. And once you got it hot, make sure you just really press that in there. That'll set that adhesive and uh, make sure it'll stay down as long as possible. All right, now let's move over to the sides. Go off your backing. And uh, again, just trying to follow that body line here. looking for is to follow this line this seam here on the radio here and to kind of center it up between the existing rubber grip uh, this one needs to get moved just a hair since I didn't press down that too hard it's pretty easy to move Once again, we'll go hit it with some heat, press in place. Okay, now that we have the side on, go do the other side. I'm not gonna do it for the video here. You wanna get your front piece here. Peel off your backing. And you want to follow the body lines of this grip for the front grip. So start here on the side, line it up here, and then make sure these are parallel with each other, and then just slowly wrap it around the front of the radio, working it in with your thumbs. If you have thumbs, you might not have thumbs, I have no idea. And there you go. What are we gonna do next? That's right, hit it with a hot air gun, 
hair dryer, have your girlfriend blow on it. She's full of hot air. Whatever you gotta do. Here we go. That's that. Go ahead and do your other side. look like that. There you go. That's it. Quick and easy. Uh, pretty easy to install. Uh, if you have a radio that you want a set of grips for, go to tweefv.com, pick yourself up a set. If I don't have the radio you want uh, listed there, uh, email me, twifb at gmail.com. Maybe we can work something out. I want to thank Aced It FPV. Thank you so much for loaning me your brand new Jumper T20 so I can model these grips. Greatly appreciate it.